Any chance that there is a shortcut way out of here? Because I'm lost. Oh. Well, look what we've got here. I don't know if I want to fight all of you at the same time. Okay, you get out of here. You get out of here. And... The other one already got out of here. They're scared of me. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started uh, on our downstairs area. So this is going to be an, mostly an interior uh, decoration episode. Uh, but before we get started, if you guys find yourself enjoying this episode, uh, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Okay, so, um, first thing we're going to do, actually, though, um, before we really get started with, what the hell, man? I got, like, a little piece of floating dirt or something there. <laughs> uh, before we really get started with, uh, the building part, uh, there's one more block that I would like to go get. Um, so, let's take a look-see here, and, uh... Go grab that. It's it's just here in uh, the Revelwood. So do I have um? Do I still have all my food buffs and all that? Yeah, we're getting kind of low on the meat pouches or whatever, but it should be enough for for what we're gonna do right at the moment. So we're just gonna go snag that. Um, the quest for it is a rumble in the catacombs, uh, and we get whatever this block happens to be here. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll get started. Uh, we're doing some building here. Also want to make an announcement to everybody. Um, as I'm sure you're uh, guessing, I'm getting very close to the end of this playthrough, this single player playthrough. We still have a little bit of stuff to do, you know, kind of um, down into the uh, southeast there, maybe a little bit of stuff to do up there. But we've, we're have we very close to the end of this playthrough. Um, and uh, so I have some good news regarding that. Um, I am going to start an enshrouded uh, multiplayer server uh, in the Discord. And tomorrow evening, uh, which will be March the 8th, on which is a Friday night, uh, will be our first time playing on that server. And I have um, uh, at least two people that I am I know of on the Discord server that's going to join me. And anybody else that is in the Discord... Uh, is also uh, welcome to join us too. So if you want to come and join the Discord and play some multiplayer in Shrouded, uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I am planning on um, recording that and probably doing, you know, maybe like a multiplayer series. I'm not exactly sure how um, how many episodes that will be. Uh, I am not going to live stream it, but I will. Uh, I am planning on recording at least parts of it and putting that up on the channel too. Uh, but I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not sure yet if it's going to be like a, like the single player series was where we had, uh, you know, a series of back to back videos. Uh, so we'll just kind of see how that goes. I'm going to play that one by ear. But anyway, all that to say, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to stop playing this game after the single player series is over. We will, I will continue doing it in a multiplayer uh, setting. Also, shameless plug time. I am, um, if you haven't already noticed this, I am playing. Um, Pacific Drive and just absolutely <laughs> loving that game. Uh, so if you guys have any interest at all in what you might call a survival driving horror, weird, but very cool, um, you know, uh, type of game, uh, come and check out uh, my Pacific Drive series. Having a lot of fun. Uh, the other thing that's cool about that, too, is I'm actually from the Olympic Peninsula, which is where that game takes place. I was born there, as a matter of fact. So that just kind of makes it even that much more interesting for me. Okay, anyway, enough about that. Let's um, let's take a look at our map here again. So we basically just need to fly down to um, this flame shrine over here. I think there might be a crypt or a catacomb that we'll have to go through, but because this is Revelwood and we're super high level, 
Um, I don't think it'll be a big deal for us to, to do that. Um, and then after that, we'll get back to the base and, and get started with some interior design. Um, also, I'm not going to Bramble Spine Boneyard. Uh, I'm not going to do another build in, in this episode. Um, or, I'm sorry, in this series. Uh, we're just going to finish out the series with our our villa which was a cool base and you know I, I i really enjoyed it it's not quite as fancy pants as you know some other builds that some other youtubers have done but um it was it was simple but elegant and and it worked really well for us and you know, like i said we're going to spiff it up a little bit more before we actually wrap things up anyways um but what i had in mind for the for you know the build that i was going to do i'm going to instead do uh in the multiplayer series so looking forward to that and we'll have some more people you know to play with us uh, I'll play along the way and have have a good time with that. Okay, anyway, let's um kill you and see if we can figure out where this place is that uh, we're supposed to go to. Um, let me look at the map again. It's it's up there. Okay, so do we? How do we get up there? That is the question. Let's go back this way. I wonder if we were supposed to approach it from the top. Yeah, it's kind of looking like that's maybe what I was supposed to do, huh? Well, that sucks. Um. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to go get back to the ancient spire, and then we're going to fly up above this time. So I'll see you in a second. Oh, seriously? Wow. What the hell? I didn't fall that far. <laughs> Can't believe that just happened. Oh, man. In fact, it didn't. You guys just think it did, but it didn't actually happen. So it's just a figment of your imagination. That's what we're going to say. That's what we're going to tell ourselves. I think I I think I saw the entrance too. Um, I was so focused on it that I wasn't paying attention to me. Yeah. All right. This is where I need to go. You know what I forgot to do though is I forgot to take my shroud potion before we came down here. This open. There's a lockpick. Let's go back out here for a second. Get wrecked. All right, let's go this way. Oh! Yeah. A <laughs> good one, dude. Nice. Nice work, man. Nice work. Oh. Alright. Um, not sure what I'm pushing that for, but probably become obvious uh, for this door here I guess all right that's probably the way back out I'm guessing one of these dealios hey Bow. 
Okay. Good golly, Miss Molly. That was a lot of bugs. Let's uh, rebuff here. are really hard to kill with melee. It's right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We've heard it all before, man. Bramble Spoon Boneyard. Is this open? No. Have an arrow. All right, so that opened something over here. You got spikety spikes there. See anything in here? I mean, like in the way of a chest or something. Go this way. All right, well, let's go this way. I know you guys are, some of you guys are thinking, just break the door, but I have um, five billion scrap metals back at the base, so it's not like I'm hurting for lockpicks. <laughs> and I'm not even sure why I just opened that room anyway. <coughs> Okay, I don't have five billion, but I have a lot, okay? <laughs> you guys are going, five billion? Really? He's got five billion? Like, nobody was actually saying that. But okay, there's chest. There we go. We got it. Weathered stone block at workbench. Oh, no, no, no. Don't attack those guys near the exploding thingy. Blow ourselves up. Okay, cool. We found it. Any chance that there is a shortcut way out of here? Because I'm lost. Oh. Well, look what we've got here. Get out of here. Wow. We got one of you, too? Okay. I don't know if I want to fight all of you at the same time. Okay, you get out of here. You get out of here. And the other one already got out of here. They're scared of me. Club of Defiance. Uh, yeah, no. 
Also known as runes. I guess we can't. Yeah, we can't salvage that. What do we got in here? Oh, neat. I, I already have a... Um, I already have this, the legendary version of it, and a higher level of it, but that is a cool sword, though. But uh, in this case, it's runes. Okay, so I think that's all for today's shenanigans. Now, if we can just figure out a quick way to get out of here. Oh, seriously? Well, there you go. Asking ye shall receive, right? Uh, oh. Beast beneath the soil. I was carrying construction material when I felt a rumble under my feet. Startled, I tripped. The heavy loaded and tumbled. The heavy load. What? Startled, I tripped the heavy load and tumbled to the ground. There we go. I must have hit my head on the stone. When I awoke, I felt a tingle in my palm. A crawl. Then a sting. A beastly critter had plunged its needle-like things into my hand. I shook it off, roused by the scare. I wanted to stomp it out, but the beast burrowed underground. Build without me whilst I tend to this wound. Yeah, maybe they never actually survive the wound, eh? All right, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to see you back at the base in just a moment. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, I do have a couple of new things from my uh, craftspeople. So we got these well blocks in the last episode um, back over in the Kindle Waste. So let's see what he has to say. Ventured out again, did you? I see you found some well blocks. Let me take a gander. I've never seen a stone quite like it. So smooth, sleek, the black sheen, almost ominous. Gives me the shivers. You should put these to use, flame board. Good use, that is. Uh, okay. With that. Uh, glass. Nice. Well, actually, no, we've been able to, I think we've been able to already make that for a while. We have a new light. Look at that chandelier. That's pretty. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this must, these must have actually opened up when we obtained iron, because I haven't actually looked in this menu for a bit. Yep, it, it did. Okay, so cool. We got some cool iron doors there. Um, We got some new crystal dishes. It looks more like jade than crystal, though, but still looks cool. Some secret bookshelf doors. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so that's what we got from El Carpenter. Let's see what our farmer has to say. Can you help search? Well, hello, Flameborn. Say, can you do me a favor? I am distraught. My mother gifted to me a very precious ring just before I left home to build my tavern in Priddlebush. Sadly, I was forced to flee a sand digger on my journey through the Kindle Waste and lost the ring. Please help me find it. Didn't we? Didn't we already find that? Uh. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overwork myself? Oh, trust me, I'll never do that. Um. Underground infestation. No, I guess we never did find that ring. Okay. Well, that'll give us something to do um, later for Emily. I don't think Blacksmith, Hunter, or Alchemist has anything new for us. Alrighty. So let's uh, let's sleep first. So we get some daylight going. Ooh, well, that was quick. <laughs> it was almost dawn already. <coughs> All right. Now, um, let's go downstairs here. Uh, we have we have two overriding goals. The first is to get this place set up downstairs for our craftspeople. The second is to get my master bedroom set up. Um, let's let's do the master bedroom first. So, um, first order of business is to go to beds. And see, this is a plus six comfort bed. That's a plus five comfort bed. And I got to be honest with you, that doesn't look like a very comfortable bed, the stone bed, you see. That looks a lot more cozy. So let's craft one of those. Um, we have a palm wood banquet table, which is a five comfort, a different kind of table, a side table. And like a little bedside table. Okay, so we'll, let's make that stone banquet table. Um, all right, let's hold off on any more tables at the moment. I want to make this fireplace. 
That's a plus seven comfort sand throne. Hmm. Where the hell would we put that though? I mean, we're going to make it because well, I need, I need charcoal and padding just because plus seven comfort, you know, but, um, that's a plus five comfort palm chair. Oh, that's cool. We must've run into that in the, in the sand temple. I'm thinking, all right, let's grab some padding out of here and some charcoal. Do I have more charcoal made out in here? Uh, what about in here? We got a little bit of charcoal in here. Wait. Did I just grab some? Oh, I didn't grab padding. I grabbed fabric. We need padding, yo. Uh, which I guess I don't actually have any padding made. We're going to have to make some. That makes... Wait. Oh, you make the padding. That's right. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go back to chairs. And we have ourselves a sand throne. Look at us and our bad selves. Um... An iron bench. Yeah, see, we gotta make we gotta make all the bathroom stuff too for our bedroom. So we got a shower, a copper bathtub, a copper pate, and a, and a stone or well, stone and copper sink. Okay, so let's make the sink. Let's make the pooper, the shower. And uh, more charcoal. Okay, let's see here. We are... Man, I'm like really low on normal wood. All right, so we'll, we'll have to make some more charcoal. All right, is there anything else that I want to make from you at the moment? Yeah, I want to make illumination. I do have a little bit of glass there. Um, so when we get some charcoal, we'll make this sh hanging chandelier for plus five comfort. Wall decorations. Wolf's choir. Bore at home. These do give comfort. Flowers. Towers. Scabbard on one leg. Flower snake, temple landscape, and still life. Okay, we will we'll come back and, and do a couple of these after I kind of get the furniture in place. Um, eh, see, th these banners are kind of cool, but they they're really they're kind of shabby looking, and they don't give us points anyways. I don't. We don't really have a need for a door up in our bedroom. Those are cool windows, though. But, again, we don't get points for it. Not that that's, you know, the only thing we care about, but it is a consideration. Dishes. Fences, ladders, secret bookshelf doors. Improve spinning wheel, wooden box. Okay. So... The other thing I want to do is I want to look at what you have for rugs. Okay, so yeah, we do get points for, for carpet. So let's make one of those uh, big furry straw mat. Big straw mat. This gives a lot more comfort. So let's make one of those too. We'll kind of see where we're at then after after we do all that stuff. Oh, Jesus. That's going to take a long time. Okay. Uh, no more charcoal in here? I'm pretty sure... Well, no, we wouldn't have any charcoal in those because it would have pulled it for us. Okay. Well, let's work with what we currently have. I'm just going to leave all of this stuff here for the moment. So we'll go up into our bedroom here. And <coughs> let's pick up this bed. 
Is that the same rug that we just made? What is that rug called? Big furry straw mat. I don't think so. Well, here, leave that one down for a second. Let's put... Uh, let's put this one down. Hmm. It's too, it's too small, you know, to put the bed on. So I think we'll leave the fur rug there. And where's my palm bed? Oh, it's right here. All right, I want to get this lined up here. There we go. Okay. Now, for the bathroom area, I think what we'll do is where do we want to put the bathroom? I guess what we could do is put a, a wall here and then put the bathroom behind the wall. So, uh, and we will use, uh, here's our building stuff. Oh yeah, we need to look at these new blocks too, just to see what they actually look like. Castle, uh, I think we already had that one. Rough flintstone, bone block, refined wood. I didn't like the limestone city wall, desert city wall. We haven't looked at that one, I don't think. And I think we have looked at fancy stone block too, but we'll check it out again. Oh, I need my hammer too. So, what we'll do is go to here and go to here. I just want to see what the blocks look like first of all. That's kind of that's kind of a cool looking material. What is the What is the floor or surface of it look like. Hmm. Yeah, I I could certainly dig using something like this and for like a castle type of build or something maybe. Um, oh, what did I just do? Did I what did I do? I don't know. <laughs> it looked like I took something apart, but I don't know what it was. Okay. Um, let's look at polished stone block. Ooh, fancy. Fancy schmancy. Fancy Nancy schmancy. Hmm. I like that. I mean, you know, for like a, a throne room or something. We don't really have a practical place to put a throne in this particular build, though. Okay. Um, let's see what the wall looks like. Yeah, very nice. Okay, highly polished stone block. Great stuff. Not what we're going to use up here, but again, I'm just checking out what the blocks look like. Okay, this is the one we just got from that catacomb. Well, it has bones on it. <laughs> I mean, that's fine and all, except for what if you want to use this to, you know, to, to make a nice build and you don't necessarily want bones all over the place. 
Hmm. All right, not a fan um, because of the bones, but let's just see what the surface of it looks like. See, now that's not so bad there. If you could make like a floor of these and without bones, well, they'd show up down there, but if you sunk them down in the ground, can we... Yeah, we don't have enough to make... Um, uh, put a second one down. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Um, this is the castle wall stone block. That's nice looking. I mean, I don't particularly like the moss on it for interior, but for exterior, it'd work fine. We're probably going to have the moss on this too, aren't we? Yeah, shoot. See, I wish the devs would have given us a little bit more option, you know, when it comes to interior stuff, because a lot of these blocks are really more exterior themed. Um, did we look at this? This is fancy stone block. Eh. You know, that's not terrible for interior, especially because it's got like the little wainscoting on the bottom of it. Okay, that, that, that's definitely something to keep in mind for interior. What is the... Eh, not a fan. Not a fan at all for a, for a nice inside build. Nope. No thanks. I'll pass on that. But the walls aren't bad. I could live with the walls. Uh, what is this? This is the desert business. Okay. Okay, that's fairly fairly clean looking. For the floor. What are the wall? What does the wall look like? Bing. Again, a bit on the weathered side for interior, but not bad. At least it doesn't have like roots, dirt, and moss and shit like that all over it. So you could you could use it for inside, I suppose, if you wanted to. And I think that's it for all the new blocks. Everything else we've already you know looked at it and done stuff with. Okay, so for here. We're going to put in a wall. Um, okay, if we do that. Let's um, switch to this. Does that make things look jank out here? Uh, slightly. What we might be able to do, though, is... Just trim some of this back off. Yeah, uh... That's another thing that I wish they would do something about in this game, is not have all of this stuff protruding. I wonder if you can... Yeah, the thing is, if I if I try and bring it down, do you see how it's already got these little boards sticking out of the corner? If I bring it down, then we're going to have this problem here, where we kind of see the stair step, I think. So, uh, the other thing we're going to have to do is eliminate this problem, because we're going to hit our head on this every time we walk up and down the stairs. If we don't... There we go. That looks good. Okay, and so this little corner here, <coughs> excuse me, will be our bathroom. Um, so let's go grab some charcoal. And I'm going to put all of these blocks back in here for the moment. And we wanted to make the really nice chandelier. And there was something else that we needed charcoal for, too. What was it? Was it a... wasn't a carpet, was it? 
don't think so. We need to make a fell sickle scythe head. The more, the more you kill these, mo each time you kill this monster, you get a, a better quality uh, trophy up to at least bronze, I think. I mean, I have I've killed Thunder Brute more than anybody else. So, so yeah, that's considered epic, and it is a two comfort trophy as well. Um, so it looks like bronze is the high highest you can go. Okay. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to make? And I needed more charcoal for. I can't remember now. Uh, ladder, fence, dish, shelf, cupboard, window. Miscellaneous banners. Did we... Oh, I think it was the bathtub. Here, let me double check. Watch out for splinters. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was the bathtub. Okay. There we go. All right, let's go up here. So, I think what we'll do is... Let's actually figure out where we're going to put the fireplace first. That we probably will place. Hmm. I think we'll put that. Let's put snapping on. I think we'll put that right up against this wall here. We need a... This needs to have a chimney with it. All right, let's do this. Need a chimney? Make a chimney. Uh, grab that. Let's go to there, and then probably two meter blocks. Uh, turn snapping off. Yeah, we need we need to do it this way. The thing is, though, is it's not gonna. So I'm going to perfectly line up with the this unless I sink it down inside of it like that. Well, that doesn't even match. Come on, game. Is there another type of block in the game that would match this? Damn it, Jim. I want my money back. <laughs> Plus, it doesn't make sense to have... Well, okay, no, never mind. Forget that. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, what's it look like out here? That well, looks fine. Well, sort of kind of looks fine out here. Hmm. Okay. Well, what do we... Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. It might look better, uh, since it doesn't match anyways, it might look better to use maybe a little fancier type of stone for that. Um, so that could be... It could be well block, or we could try... Oh, I want to I wanna do palm wood flooring up there too. We're going to change out the flooring. Castle wall stone could work. I think highly polished stone might be a little too gaudy, but we could try it. We could also maybe try the well blocks in those. Okay, so let's go back to here. Um, let's see what this looks like. 
I need to sink it, sink it down in. I mean, you know, under the circumstances, the I really like the look of this white stone. Um, highly polished stone block. So that could work for us. That could work. Let's um. Let's try the well blocks. Nah, I can tell you already. I don't like that. Um, let's try the castle stone wall blocks. It could work, but I still like the polished stone better. And yeah, so I think that's what we're going to go with. Let's go with the polished stone. Okay, it's going to It's going to look a little bit janky poo out here, but I guess what we could try is Let's take that. Hold on. Okay. Take that away first. I remember running into this very early on in this series where the chimney was just a pain in the ass to set up right. Okay, so that gives us the solid block up this way. Now, can we set this in place? Um, no, we gotta go. Gotta go here, here, roof, and then rotate it that way. I mean, that's a little bit better. I still don't like how it does the little stair step thing, but I think that's probably about as good as that's going to get. We could even maybe... Uh, we could even extend this up a little higher with some smaller blocks. But then again, we don't really want it blocking the view of our cool little lighthouse tower either. So I think I'm just going to leave that there, at least for now. I might change my mind on that later. Uh, but uh, for now, we're going to go with that. And again, yeah, it looks a little jank that it's clipped through there. But what are you going to do, right? The only other option... That's kind of interesting what it's doing up on top there. Uh, the only other option would be to hold it up higher... Like I did with this one. Well, I actually enclosed that whole thing there, didn't I? Oh, right. And I didn't even use a solid block. Well, don't look up in there, you guys. It's, you didn't see the, the ceiling up in the chimney there. That That's not actually that way. You just think it is. Yeah, if I hold it up higher, then, I've, then I'm going to have to mess around with thin, thin blocks. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and we're going to call it good. Even though... It's, it is probably going to bug the hell out of me, but you know what? Whatever. What can you do? Okay, so let's get back to business here. Um, I want to replace... Hmm, I want to replace this floor with palm wood. So let's go here and... No, not there. Here. And we want to go with palm wood block. Oh, did we look at refined sandstone? I don't think we did. I don't think we looked at regular sandstone either. Highly pol Yeah, we looked at highly polished. We looked at desert wall. Bronze block. That's interesting. I know we have, I think, yeah, we have like iron blocks too. Okay. Um, let's make, 
what was I looking at? Sand. We were looking at sandstone stuff. Rough sandstone block. That's probably, my guess is that probably looks a little bit like the Flintstone, but with a different color, but we'll see. Uh, regular sandstone block and refined stone block and sandstone. Did we look at refined sandstone? I don't think we did. Okay, I want, I want more palm blocks. And then to make the refined stone, I need some flintstone. I'm short one. Okay. We have a little flintstone deposit right over here. So let's just grab a little bit of this. All right, let's make some refined stone blocks, too. Let's we'll just take a look and see what those look like. Who left that door open? Was it you? Um, all right, so we want to check out... Let's try rough sandstone first. Yeah, as I suspected, it's very similar to the Flintstones, but with just different coloring. And it doesn't look terrible either. Okay, let's try regular sandstone. Too sandy. <laughs> let's try refined sandstone. For being refined, I still think that looks pretty shoddy, if you ask me. Um, and then this is the refined stone block. Uh, you know, damn it. If it didn't look like it had black mold on it, I might be interested. Okay. Um, let's sleep. Oh, I guess I guess we could have slept in our nice palm bed upstairs. I'm just so used to coming down here to do it. Okay, it's still gonna take a little while for it to get light, so let's just pop one of those. Um, all right, let's see what the, uh, whoops, uh, let's see what the surfaces look like. I think we already looked at castle wall. Okay, so that's the sandstone again, very, very similar. In fact, it's, it's almost the identical texture of the flintstone, but just different colored. Yeah, that's definitely an exterior looking wall. Refined sandstone. Now, that's not terrible aside from the cracks in it, but I could I could work with that. Could definitely work with that. Uh, in it, it would be good for like a bathroom or a kitchen, you know, I think. All right, what does the refined stone block look like on the floor? Eh. Okay. I kind of like the the border along it. Can we I didn't make enough to make um well, here, what if we do it? Let's do this. Let's put this here and that there and that there. Just trying to get a feel for what a large floor would look like. We still have kind of like the patches of, you know, I don't know if I call that black mold. It more looks like, you know, pitted rock. Like, you know, when you put too much salt on your sidewalk and over the years it gets pitted kind of thing. Okay. 
Um, I do like, I definitely like the refined sandstone floor. If we put that down here for our bathroom. Oh. The problem we're going to run into is that. So, unfortunately, I don't see how we're going to be able to make this work. That would have been really nice, you know, for bathroom tiles. I'm just... Put all that back. Unless we... Unless we raised it up... You know, it does that weird thing. I really wish the game wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can trim that, though. Um, hmm. That could work, I guess. Could work. Uh, I guess the next question, though, it then is, are we going to be able to fit all of our bathroom stuff in that little area? We've got four pieces in total because we added the shower. Oh, well, that's not very big, actually, though, is it? That's pretty damn big. All right, why don't we put the shower in the corner there? And we could put the poop de doop -de right next to it. Except for I think we need, need to remove the snapping to get it to go right where I want it to go. Okay. And then the bath, the copper tub. guess the copper tub can go Ooh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Let's go to here. Uh fences. Hold that thought. If we go to here. Uh, no, here. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought at one time I had made... Let's grab these iron fences, too. And if this works the way that I think it is, we're going to need two of them. Are we? No, actually, I don't think we will. Never mind. So if we put this here, oh, we are going to need more. Uh, well, oh yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, damn it. The menus are different on this game than other games. So I still get confused even after all this time. All right. Let's make another stone fence. Cause I think I do like the stone fence idea. Okay. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Let's put this right on the edge there. And then... Yeah, see, that's just not going to quite fit right. If if I do if I do this, how badly is that going to jank things up outside? Oh, well, doesn't show up out here at all. But what about down here?
Uh. Oh, you know what? It just barely pops out right there, and it's not even noticeable. How about that? Okay. We're going to run with that. Okay, so now we have this here. I wonder if... Let's, let's do something different. Let's pick this up. Let's put the sink here. I don't, yeah, I just, I don't think I'm going to have enough room to get all of this stuff in here. If we put... Put the tub there. What if we pick this up? And... We want to use um, R plus mouse wheel. Okay. We're going to go back to put in the, the toity right here. Uh, whoops. Cut it out. R plus mouse wheel. between those two beams and then the sink we'll put right here okay I think that works and I, I like the shower actually being at a at an angle there yeah I think that works okay look at our rest buff you guys it's over an hour that's awesome. It's an hour and one minute now. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what else do we have for up here? We have a chandelier. Let's put that up next. I don't know how much light this is going to give us, but the center of the ceiling's probably right about there-ish. Mm, kind of hard to tell because those boards aren't really in the center. I'm almost thinking, though, that we if if I put this back here and then go here, can I undo that? No. It doesn't undo that. It just undid this. I really, I really like that sandstone block for a, for a bathroom floor. I think it's good. Okay, get rid of that, and it just showed a, a pickup. How the hell am I supposed to pick that up? <sighs> no, don't pick that up. I can't stay up high enough to to grab it. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, let's... I, I think it needs to go... See, I wish... We need better cameras for building in this game, devs. As if they're watching my my channel, but... I think it, it's just hard to kind of gauge, but... I'm going to say right about here. And... That has to be... That's going to be good enough, because... If it's not good enough, I don't care. <laughs> We're going with it. All right, let's see what else we got. We got this cool rug here. How large is this rug? Not huge. Um, why don't we put... Why don't we put the rug in this corner? Let's pick this rug up. And then what we could do is... We got, a, uh, we got a nightstand here. It 
See, I'm not I'm not convinced that the fur rug goes well with this bed. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. Wall mounted candle holder. No! Don't pick shit up that's on the ground floor, game. You're killing me, man. Okay, pick this up. Pick this up. Can we put down a couple of those? Because I like the way those rugs look. I mean, sort of. I think we need nicer rugs. Let's go to carpets. I think that's the one we made, right? Let's make another one of those. Big straw mat. Big furry straw mat. I want to make another one of those, too. Good hunting. And actually, maybe carpets. Let's make a small carpet. This one, because that's a plus three comfort. All right. Now, can we put two of those down there and then put the bed over the top of those? Take snapping off. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, let's take this smaller... Well, actually, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah, baby. How's that, huh? Me likey. Me likey. In fact, yeah, I like that a lot. Yes, I do. Okay, I got another idea. Why don't we take... Uh, why don't we take this and do I have, yeah, highly polished stone block and go to the ceiling piece. Hmm. See, this is just a weird place. I really like that, though. Um... This is just a weird place for a throne. Now we have a minute and eight. No, an hour and eight. Excuse me. Eight minutes of rested. That is very, very cool. Um, Can we... I do not like the backdrop, though, of our walls here. So can we do something about that? Let's go back into building mode. And go to here. And put that... Oh. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe we bring that fireplace down here into the kitchen. It's just causing me too much grief. It, it does make things cozy up here, though, I have to say. Um... Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's leave this the way that it is for the nonce. And... I think what I want to do is... This. Get it 
right about there. Okay. What else do we have in here? Um, oh, that's what I picked up earlier when I couldn't figure out what I had picked up. It was the sh the older chandelier. Okay, I got some ideas. Let me look at you for a minute. You don't... You don't do any illumination at all, do you? Well, that bronze barrel is kind of cool. So all of the illumination comes from our bruh here. Well, I don't know. Maybe some, some of it comes from somewhere else. Okay, so... That's kind of cool looking. Sandstone brazier. Polished scrap brazier. Let's look at that. And grab one of those. We also have standing torches, but I don't think I want standing torches. This is plus five comfort. Let's get that and we can put that on like an end table. Let's make one of those as well. Oh, oh, okay. I was going to say that thing is huge. So we could do this. I don't know. God damn it. What did I just pick up? I think I think that was sitting right there. I want to pick up this. Okay. What does this look like? Oh, that thing's huge. Uh, I think that's too big. That's kind of big, too. Um, damn it, Jim. Okay. By virtue of of the size of these things, I think this is our, our best bet. Here, let's take snapping off. And we're going to put a light there. And we're going to put a table let's let's look at that table and see what size it is um i want, also want this little palm wood table too and then let's go to dishes a bimbel pitcher I like the Bimbel pitcher. Let's do the crystal jug and the crystal cup. Hmm, this table might be a little bit too large for what I have in mind, but let's just see. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Here, let's go. Let's go look again at what other options we have. So tables do give comfort level. The stone side table is kind of nice looking. The bedside table. Um. We don't. Well, yeah, we do have a palm wood bedside table but that's kind of not what I have in mind um d -d 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 beds tables d -d 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 windows cupboards those are nice there's so many cool things in here 
Okay, now let's go back to tables and let's try this stone night table. I think we already had the polished wood. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's try this. It's just, it's just a little high. It, you know what, though? It does look nice, doesn't it? Or we can just put back the original one. Yeah, see, that's just as big as these other ones, though. All right, you know what? Let's just go back to this one, then. Okay, so grab this. We'll put this right here. And then we want to put the cup. Oh, I have like a stack of those. Interesting. And the pitcher. There you go. So that way the king has something to drink. Now, what we need to do do you know what we could almost get away with hmm. I make this stuff up as I go so that's just the way it works I wonder if we could actually push that wall back um so if we take if we take snapping off, we have to remove that. Oh man, if it only wasn't for that roof piece. Unless we can. Because, see, I mean, it's going to kind of do this, but that's not really going to be that noticeable. It's going to be far more noticeable on the inside than on the outside. Whoops. Um. No, I need to pull that in. Right. See, then that pick that fixes the problem with the chimney as well. But I need to I need to raise it up. Still not quite right. Okay, line it up to there. That's where it was before. And push it back. One click. There. There we go. And again, like I said, it, it kind of fixes the problem with the chimney. What's it look what's it look looking like out here? Okay. Let's just put the roof piece back now. Which was this inverted piece. Um, come on, game. No, <laughs> that's not quite right. Maybe it'd be easier for me to do this from down below. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks much better. Much, much, much better. Now what I want to do is I want to push all this stuff back a little bit. Okay, 
so we'll put the throne right about there. We'll put the light in this corner. We'll put the table back up against the wall here. Uh, let's put the picture right in the center. And then the cup kind of off to the side. How's that look? I wish this little border piece also shut up over here, but I don't I don't think there's any way we're going to make that work. And again, it's it I know it's a bit jank that these are raised up, but if I don't do that, then we're going to completely mess up our ceiling down here. So we just don't really have a choice. Um So it is what it is. Okay. Um now uh, let's pick these back up. I'm just trying to decide. We need some more lighting. So let's go make some more lights. Uh, let's go to tables. Uh, did, did I make one of those? I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to put... The bed, that chandelier, probably both of those. I might hang on to those, though. Uh, we don't need the gates either for the moment. Tables, fireplaces, chairs. Let's make um, a palm wood chair. Oh, we need padding for that. Shit's expensive, man. Anything that requires padding in this game is expensive. All right. Uh, table. Wait, what were we doing? Chairs. Yeah. Let's make a palm chair. Let's make... Um... A stone bench. A polished wood bench. That's plus five comfort. We just need two pieces of padding. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, let's make that bench and go back up here. And let's sleep. Ah, oh, we're sleeping in our new cozy bed. Oh, I was going to make some more lights too. Um, actually, you know what? Before we, before it gets morning, let's make some more lights. Illumination. All right. I want, want a couple of you. Oh, we need goo. Uh, yeah, goo. You make goo. This guy makes goo. Ice bolt goo. Make six more of those. Uh, uh, let's see. Wait. We wanted to make you, right? Yeah, okay. So, bathroom light. Maybe. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to think where I'm going to put these. Why don't we put this here if we snap it? All right. We could do that. And then we could put a light there and a light there. Okay. 
Okay. Um, let's grab this bench. And... Turn snapping off. Put that there. I was thinking about putting this guy. Up here too. Maybe what we do is... Let me pick this back up. We could put the brazier here so then we can use the coals to warm the bathtub. Plus that gives a lot of light too. Um, we don't have any kind of a wardrobe, do we? I know we have some cabinets. Benches, bathroom. Windows, cupboard, shelf... Uh, we have shelves. That's kind of like a, a wardrobe. And these don't give us points anyways. I actually like the look of this one better. Let's make those two thingies. Um, yeah, see, none of this stuff gives us points. And, and I actually like the look of that. Large wooden cabinet. Maybe a small cabinet. Okay, so let's play around with these. So now, you know, these are just eye candy since they're not giving us points anyway. But we want things to look good, right? That's important. Uh, let's grab this table here. Well, that's a pretty sizable table. Um, all right, I think what we'll do with this table is... This will kind of be our office area where we sit down and map out our adventures for for the day and it's gonna be right about there and then we'll put our little genie lamp that did I not make the genie lamp I thought I made a genie lamp where the hell's my genie lamp who took my genie lamp here let's put this up here um, so we can have some beverage while we're doing all of our work. Somebody took my genie lamp. Nobody can go home until I find out who it was. I think we'll just put this in the corner here. All right. That looks cool. And we made some cabinets here. So I kind of think of this more like a wardrobe, right? instead we have the smaller uh well no we have a bookshelf yeah let's put the bookshelf here and we could even make some a couple of books to put on there just for the hell of it but i'm not gonna worry about that right now uh okay we got the smaller guys there so this one could this is more like a almost like a kitchen piece I think I'm picking that back up we'll put that there and then this Cabinet could go. Oh, you know what would be nice is to put a cabinet up on the wall above the toilet for the bathroom there. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Maybe we won't use it.
we don't need to put it down because it doesn't give us points. So yeah, let's just not do anything with that right now. Uh, all right, we wanted a wall shelf or cabinet for up there, and we need a genie lamp. And I, I've completely forgot that I was going to uh, do a palm wood floor up there, too, so we still have to do that. Okay, let's go back to cupboards. No, we want shelves. Small palm wood cabinet. Shelf. Yeah, let's grab that shelf. If I snap it, where is it going to go? No, I don't want to snap it. because I, I feel like it should go right about there. Just have to be careful not to conk our head when we sit down to do our do our thing. Yeah, you know what? I think we better lift it up a little more. Put it up high like that. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll go with it. All right, so I think the final thing that I want to... Well, we need to do, put some pictures up here, and but we need to also change the floor. So the question for that is, can I... Uh, let's go back up to here and over to here and to the palm wood. Oh, that's right. The game doesn't, this game doesn't let you place something over another something. We might have to build that one manually. Uh, no, don't do that. There we go. No, it's still not right. Dude, come on. What the hell? Why isn't that going in there correctly? I just broke something down below that I didn't mean to break. That is frustrating. I don't even know. It was something outside. Well, I just used undo to replace it. I need to... It's doing this little border thing. Let's go. Whoops. Let's go down here. Oh. We're not. Hmm. Maybe I should try and do this from down below. We don't have SI in the game, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, it's not... Oh, it's not letting me remove that because of the bed. I gotcha. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass, man. 
I mean, yeah, just trying to get everything set exactly right. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not. If I just put snapping on. What's the matter with me? The underneath side of the palm wood looks very, very similar to the other wood. Yeah, so that's just the base of the wall. Okay, so aside from underneath the bed, which we'll probably have to pick up. Uh, oh yeah, we need to do in here. too far. You want to go there, right? Yeah, I think so. And then there, and then there. That looks good from down here. These, yeah, these little border thingies, I'm probably just going to have to Oh, you know what that is? That's the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I think I can just trim those out and replace them with individual blocks, probably. And I think we're going to have to do that here as well. Uh, let's go to 2 meter. Don't remove that. I want to remove that piece. Do I look at it from here? Come on, game, you're killing me. Oh, wait a second. All right, can we go back to here then and put the full piece in? Well, that was odd. Okay. Well, that fixed that issue. It's look, it looks really good in here with the palm flooring. All right, we're going to have to pick this back up. And probably these. Oh, wow. That, that didn't do the wall border thing. Okay, let's pick this up and this up. What I want to do is go to single block and And then we could even just use a larger piece to fill that in. But uh, we'll just do it this way. How's that, eh? How's that? Looking good in the neighborhood. Let's get our rugs back down. Uh, rugs. I don't know. Did I have snapping on for these? I think I did. Get our bed back down. Don't want snapping on there because we want it to be right centered in the window. Let's get our uh, brazier back down over here. And our bookshelf back over here. The only, the last thing we need is we just need some decorations. 
And if you haven't already guessed, <laughs> there's no way we're going to do the basement of this episode. We're going to have to have another uh, episode that focuses on that. I mean, my God, I've already been recording for an hour and 47 minutes, so it just takes so long to do this in this game. And, you know, it's fun, though. I'm not I, I, I really like it, but it takes a while. <sighs> if this is, didn't look so shabby, we could make this and put it over the throne, but it looks like it's moth ridden, you know? Um, let's just look at it. Maybe it's not as bad as it seems from the thingy. Uh, so we needed some blue fabric and we needed some more charcoal. Uh, okay. So that was the banner. This one here. How large is this? Oh yeah. Okay. So that's the right size. It's just that it's going to look like shit when we put it up here. <laughs> I uh, I guess we'll keep it there. I really wish they made cleaner, nicer looking stuff in this game, though. <laughs> I really do. Um, it's not atrocious. I don't think. All right, how about why do we only have blue colored banners? Why, you know, why didn't they give us other colored ones? That one's kind of, kind of nice looking. Uh, we need two more blue fabric. Okay, I like this one here. We're going to make that. And then for the for the wall decorations. Let's do a wolf. These use all the same ingredients, right? Okay. Uh, let's do a tower. We'll do the temple landscape. And the bird. Let's just start with those and see where we are. Okay, so I want this to go up here. What if we snap it? No, nope, don't snap it. Uh, hmm. Is it a little too much to have both of these? I don't know. Uh, and also, I don't have it perfectly centered either. We want it right over this ornament on the fireplace and then up a little higher. I guess we'll leave it there for now. I'm not convinced that I like that, though. Okay, wolf picture. Let's put that... Uh, here. Let's snap it, so... Okay. Let's put the... Tower picture there. Let's put the... Building picture... There. Let's put this picture right above the toity. That's all my pictures, huh? So I'm thinking we need one on this wall, too. I'm I'm still not convinced I I like I I like this. I think it looks good, but with that one also, not sure. Oh, we never put our genie lamp down. I did make a genie lamp, but it was just in the wrong slot. 
No, 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 no. Uh, hold on a sec. That's not where I wanted to put it. I need to get up here and pick it up. Let's put it off to the side a little bit. There. Maybe we'll put one over here, too. That's cool. We're up to one hour and 14 minutes of rested. It's a beautiful thing. Um, Have we done enough? As if you guys can answer me. <laughs> uh, I think I think we need a picture on that wall. Wall decorations. Let's do a snake, and that's the that's the last of our indigo. So I'm gonna have to plant some more of that. Right in the middle of there. There we go. You know what else the game needs is some curtains. You know, it'd be nice to put some drapes or something up in here. I think that's uh I think that's good. It looks pretty cozy in here. If you don't mind my saying so. Okay, let's sit down on our throne here. Uh that's as whoop. <laughs> It's about as good as I, I can get it. Turn around. That way. Okay, so we're sitting on our throne and we're ruling our kingdom. Right. Okay. This looks really cool. Um I just wish, you know, that we could have we could have sunk some of this down, but I we can't do that without screwing up the ceiling down below. I I don't know how we would how else we would do that. So it's just kind of the nature of this build that we have to keep those raised. But, you know, I mean, thrones are up on a DS, right? And so are toilets, because this is a throne, too. There you go. Okay, we figured it out. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. We need some books. <laughs> Excuse me. books yeah I gotta I gotta collect some more of these let's do an open book and then maybe some of these some of these again maybe one of those let's try let's try that many and see what happens Can these snap? No. Because then they sink down in. Okay, so put those there. And maybe these here. Put this on the table. Okay. And those there do we have do we have flower pots Happy to see you. resources decorative miscellaneous damn man we need a scarecrow out in the garden what the hell that's kind of creepy um i'm just gonna put him right there for now <laughs> Nice. Okay. Should have done that a long time ago. Uh, okay, so she doesn't make flower pots. The only other person that might is this guy. I can't imagine any of the other ones would. Comfort, bathroom, benches, chairs, all decor or wall decorations, banners, misc, doors, windows, cupboards, shelves. Dishes, fences. Okay, so apparently we can't do like a potted plant kind of idea. Do we want, though, however, stone 
door. Copper door. Those don't give us points. We could we could put a door here. Nah, you know what? I think that'll look jank. We're not gonna put a door there. Alright guys, this is it. This is our master bedroom in the final um uh I another I, I know I'm planning on doing anything more in here. I think this is good to go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, so what we'll have to do, let me just kind of give you an idea of, of, you know, what's, how we're going to wrap up the series. We've got a couple more episodes that we'll do. We, we, we need at least one more episode here at the base where we'll do the basement and set that up for our crafts people. Um, I have to, 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 to journal. I've got six quests left to do. So we'll, we'll do those cause why not? Right. Just do them to complete things. And we have just a little bit more territory over here. Like we got this greatest game. Well, we'll do that when we do a quest. We have a sun temple here. Um, I don't know what this shrine of Manathor business is, but we'll kind of explore the, some of this area here. And we have another elixir well to do. A flame shrine to hit. So we'll, we'll kind of just wrap things up, you know, complete whatever is left uh, uh, and see the rest of the map. And, you know, the cool thing about this game is I read somewhere that what we can do currently in this game is only 25% of the overall map. There is so much more space here for future, uh, you know, future play. And I'm just very much looking forward to the next major update, you know, that they come out with. Uh, but anyway, for, for the rest of this series, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking anywhere from a minimum of two, maybe three, possibly four more episodes where we will go, you know, uncover the rest of the map and also finish our basement. But we are uh, way beyond out of time <laughs> in this episode. This stuff just takes a really long time to do. But it is a lot of fun, too. And, you know, there there's some things uh, in this game, you know, building-wise, that I think they could do better. But I can't complain. I mean, the building in this game is just phenomenal overall. And um, I just really enjoy it. And I hope you guys did, too. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode.